back in Barcelona to give a talk. I was here a couple of months ago and I love Barcelona because you can go for a run by the beach at the end of October and it's 22 degrees so it's kind of rude not to. Um, and one of the things I'll be talking about today is imposter syndrome. Um, yeah. I actually don't believe in imposter syndrome. In fact, I do believe in it, but I believe it's actually quite a good thing because for one, uh, if you have a bit of imposter syndrome, it's a sign that you're not an arrogant ass. Um, but I think we can also use imposter syndrome um, to identify that moment when we realize that we've been cruising in our comfort zone. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this, there, that is my worst nightmare. Um, it's one of those outdoor gyms um, and uh, it's basically all really ripped blokes uh, who obviously do CrossFit. In fact, I don't know if they do anything else but CrossFit. Um, and my thoughts are, I don't want to do that. I'm going to stick out, they're going to laugh at me. I'll probably have terrible form. I'll probably only manage about three crappy pull-ups. Um, and I guess this is the moment, right? I think this is what imposter syndrome really is. It's the moment where you recognize that you have a choice, okay? You can choose to be brave and lean out of your comfort zone with all the risk that that brings. Or you can choose to stay in your comfort zone and risk hating yourself or being disappointed, at which point it's really handy to have imposter syndrome to fall back on. But I don't think we need to do that. I think we just make a decision to be brave. So I'm gonna go and do some pull-ups and I'm gonna ask one of those really hench blokes to film me so that you know that I'm not lying. And I'm not doing this because I want attention. I'm genuinely, uh, I feel like a bit of a dick doing this, but I just want to prove to you that imposter syndrome doesn't have to be something that holds us back. It can be something that motivates us to just go for it um, and to take that invitation to, um, to grow, even though it's scary. Okay. I was hoping for a round of applause to be honest, but it didn't happen, never mind. Uh, anyway, um, so that's the point. When you get to that uncomfortable moment, it might be imposter syndrome, it might not be. I don't think it really matters. The point is what you do. Um, and I think everyone feels it, you know, everyone feels it. Um, so if you are able just to push through a little bit, then you might just inspire someone else. And we don't need to call it imposter syndrome. We can call it the moment of choice when you decide to be brave. Okay, I hope that helps. Lots of love. Bye.